Hello, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to share you my secrets. <laughs> it's not a secret, I always share it with you guys, but uh, I wanted to show you how to knit a top measuring uh, your favorite tops that you have. So I have this uh, in my stash. It's, um, I think I bought it this, I can't remember who sold it to me, where I bought it. But I think I bought this in uh, Canada, so it's from here. I, so it's 60% uh, cotton and 40% linen. So it's perfect for this uh, summer hot weather so that we can, I can wear it. Because I cannot wear acrylic or polyester. It's, uh, yeah, because of female problems, I guess. Menopause, <laughs> as you guys know. Okay, anyways, let's go. Uh, so this is made in Germany, it says. I must have bought this before Ice Yarn was out, because Ice Yarn has the same yarn. Something Garden has the same cotton and linen in it. It says made in West Germany. So, yeah, this must be an old, old... Maybe I bought it from Woodward. I can't remember where I bought it. So uh, I had a total of nine of this. So I used up two balls for this part. And I just posted this tutorial on how to knit the accordion uh, stitch. But this is shown on flat. The reason I sh I'm just going to show it to you. So I used up two balls here. So not... Not four balls. I, I haven't finished four balls. So I still have about five balls to make the back. And maybe the sleeves. I don't know. We'll see. Depends. The reason I use this stitch is if you go and check that my tutorial. I will put the link below. Sorry. The reason is this. Can you see? How it becomes? So I wanted to give some fabric when I wear it on my bottom because this I love this top it has that uh, more uh, when I wear it it's comfortable on the tummy area it's not a skirt it's it's a top but it gives me more room and I really like this measurement it's perfect it's 100% cotton so I just love it so I just wanted to show you how it looks like when you hold like when I'm gonna wear it it's gonna be like this so what I did is I cast on about 144 stitches. So I measured here and I did a swatch. I believe I did. I usually don't, but I played around with it. So I tried to figure out how much I needed to cast on and uh, 144 stitches with this yarn. And I used, uh, I believe a seven millimeter needle knitting needle. And I came all the way up to here where it shows but I knitted a little bit more so automatically when I knit it up to here I changed my knitting needle to a smaller from seven I went to four as you can see how the fabric changed yeah and what I did is I you know I don't know the I can't remember the stitches so I started the back I'm gonna do the same on the back and uh, I did bind off a couple of stitches, so I shrinked it. So as you can see, the top is going, this is for a plus size, this is a two extra large. If you're a small size, just measure what you have and then just follow it. That's what I kept on doing and it went perfectly. So this is the middle, so I put a marker here. And I as more I knit, I kept on uh, following it. So what I did is, here, in here, I uh, I did decreases. You know, when on just under your uh, chest area, you have those two uh, uh, fabrics that sewn. To you, you just need to have a little bit of sewing techniques. If you don't, just look at your top and just see how it's done and measure it while you knit it and then what I did is 
I did every 10 stitches, I bind off two stitches. Two from here, two from here, so four. I'm sorry, two from here and two from here for four. So as you can see, it went a little bit, a little bit, and until I came to the underarm. Because this is, uh, and I added another thread of yarn, actually a thread, to this while I'm knitting it. To give it a little bit of fabric to it because I don't want to wear something underneath this. I don't want it to, you know, see through. So I added a thread that I had in my stash. So I, I just added, because this is, uh, there's two strands here. And then what it is, one is linen and one is cotton. So I added another 100% uh, cotton uh, thread. So it just gave a little bit of uh, fabric to it. And using a smaller uh, needle, it automatically pulled it up, as you can see. It's like you can't see it's not see-through but here it is see-through so I knit it all the way to the underarm but I continued doing my decrease so I did total one two three four I did total of four decreases up to the underarm and when I I looked at it because I look because I'm a plus size and it's pretty deep here so what I did is I bind up five four three two one uh, like I went back and back I, I bind off five here I went there I bind off five there I came back I bind off four so I went back and forth and it gave me this this round this look the underarm area and then what I did is I knitted about up to where the neck area is when I just pull it you can see Actually, it's a little bit more when I knit it yeah a little bit more well that's what it looks like but yeah so I what I did is I bind off 12 stitches in the middle so I, I knit it all the way here and I bind it off 12 and I came back and uh, I only finished this part so I bind it off 3, 2, 1 and I knit it all the way to the length that I wanted for the shoulder and I finished it and I bind off this shoulder and I came back here and I went back and bind off 3, 2, 1 to give this nice round look and I finished it up to the length that I wanted. <laughs> I hope you understand this. It's super easy. There's no written pattern. You just make your own design. You just play around which stitch you want to uh, work with. And I have lots of tutorials, lots of lacy tutorials. You can even uh, start with the lacy stitch and then uh, play around with it. Whichever, whichever you like and make your own design. It's so easy. And you don't have to follow a pattern. You don't have to look at notes, you just go feel what how you want to design your own top. Yeah, so for the back, let's pull this aside. It's, like I said, it's super easy and uh, when I finish it, I'll wear it and I'll show it to you how it looks like. I'm sure it's going to turn out good. Okay, so when I turn the back, I cast on the same stitches, 144, so I'm going to repeat what I did here. It's going to be the repeat, but the only thing is going to be different. If you look at it, the underarm and this arm, this is deeper cut. This isn't deeper, so instead of doing 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, I would do 4, 3, 2, 1. And I don't have to do the the neck area like I did on this one. So what I would do is, if I measure this, just to give you an idea. So what I'm going to do is, as you can see, see this is deeper, the front. Like I said, four, three, two, one would give more room, a little bit more room on the back. Because the front, because of the boost area, you need to bind off more for the underarm. 
Okay, so instead of doing the call, uh, this neck area, I'm going to be knitting all the way here and then doing the same thing. So I would do is, uh, I would bind off again 12, three, oh, this phone is ringing. Perfect timing, eh, when I'm taping. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> so uh, what I was trying to say is when you knit, knit all the way, you just need to bind off about like this, just over an inch. What you do is you bind off 12, uh, maybe more, I would say 15 in the middle. Just count where your stitch is in the middle and then bind off total of 15 in the total and finish one part. I would do three, two, one again. And just finish it up, but it's not going to be this deep. And then do the same three, two, one and then finish it up. So uh, for the sleeves, I can leave it like this, where it's sleeveless, because it's warm, it's summer, and or I, I'll just pick up stitches and I will knit and use up all the yarn that I have, if I have left. Hopefully, I think I would have enough yarn to finish it, and uh, with the leftover, I can just knit, pick up stitches, and then knit round and around. And finish my my yarn that I had I had this yarn over 20 years uh, I think I bought this I, I really can't remember but uh, I think it's one of my stash I've been uh, donating yarn I've been giving away from my stash for my subscribers I've been selling my yarn so I kept this one because I really liked it and uh, yeah so finally I had a chance to knit it <laughs> so I wanted to share how you can measure your favorite tops and then you can knit or you can crochet whichever you like and make your own instead of uh yeah instead of I don't know keeping your yarn in your stash and just use up the yarn that you have and uh, just to point out, knitting, uh, you use less yarn than crocheting. That's why if I don't have enough yarn, I, I usually knit. But if I have lots of yarn, I do crochet projects <laughs> just to use up uh, from my stash. So uh, this is just a little information to give you. I hope you're not overwhelmed. It's very easy, like I said. And if you're like me, if you have a little bit of tummy, uh, no matter what you do, because when you have a baby... I don't know it's my body I couldn't get rid of the tummy I tried everything and I didn't want to go through third surgery so I'm keeping that tummy unfortunately until I die I guess <laughs> so anyways if you if you're like me make something like this you uh, knit something uh, that is stretchable and uh, and then create something that you would wear and you will enjoy and you would be a pr proud proud uh, proud of yourself to show it off. <laughs> I am I am 100% you would be proud to show, show it off. Okay, so uh, that's all I have to say and you can create your own uh, designs and uh, just by measuring just measuring your uh, top that you have and I have a couple of tops that I have I want to make so uh, stay tuned if you haven't subscribed to my channel Please do subscribe, share it with your family and friends, stay home, stay safe, take care. Happy knitting!